Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Well, now we are going to talk about pivot chart. A pivot chart is a chart, as we have seen before, but the difference between a normal chart is that normal charts have a link to a static range of data, and pivot charts have a link to a pivot table. For this topic, we are going to work with the same Excel file that we were working before. So, let's start. If we have a pivot table, we can insert a pivot chart in the pivot table analyze tab just by clicking the pivot chart button. Then, we just have to choose the chart that we want to work with. In this case, we will be taking as an example a column chart. So, as we seen before, when we have a lot of data to show, it is complex to show all the rows. So let's make some changes in our pivot table. First, we are going to see first the state, then the category. And let's make a filter in order to compare Mexico City with Hidalgo. Now, as we can see, it is more easy to read the graph. And by this way, we can compare each year versus the state. And if we switch the rows by the columns, we will be able to compare each state in a specific year. If you see the table, Row labels were changed by columns. We used to say that the table were transposed. La tabla se transpone, es decir, las filas cambian por columnas y las columnas por filas. By this way, it is more easy to compare. Also, we can insert a pivot table and a pivot chart at the same time. We just have to select a cell in the data table that we are going to work with. Then we go to the Insert tab and choose the pivot chart option. As we saw before, we have to choose the source for the data, and then we have to choose the place where the new pivot chart will be placed, and clicking OK. By default, we got the pivot table and the chart. Now, 
we just have to choose our rows and columns as we did before when we were working just with pivot tables. And by the same way, we can filter all the data. Let's compare Mexico City with Hidalgo. So, as we can see, in the total of exports, talking about industry, Mexico City is bigger, and it is here. And for others, Hidalgo is bigger, as we can see here. We have some for Hidalgo and almost nothing for Mexico City. Also in the graph, we can apply the same filters as we were able to apply in the pivot table. Now, let's do something different. I'm going to delete this pivot chart. I did it. Now, we are going to see how this data is changing through the time. And we are going to do it by inserting a new pivot chart, but it will be a line chart. As you can see, by a line chart, we can see the trend that the data follows in a period of time. And let's compare Hidalgo, Ciudad de México, Puebla, and Querétaro, which are some states that grow. Now we can see how these states are growing, talking about exports. As we can compare, Hidalgo is not growing versus Puebla, which is growing a lot. The same for Querétaro. Both of them have been growing more than Mexico City, which is in the same trend line. Now, let's compare with other states like Tlaxcala. Now, as we can see, Tlaxcala is growing, but its numbers are smaller than Hidalgo and Mexico City. Also, in some cases, when we are doing a presentation, we want to show the chart in a new sheet. For doing that, we can move it to another sheet. For doing that, we just have to go to the Design tab, then go to Move Chart, and we can move it to a new sheet. And that's all. In this sheet, we just have the graph. Also here, we can apply some filters. As we review, it is more easy to read information in a chart. It is more intuitive, but for getting this info, we have to work. We can work with functions. We can work with pivot tables. But at the end, we have to think what info we want to get and how we want to present it. To think about that is the most difficult thing.